The west coast of Canada is home to an iconic species where survival is imperiled due to an unseen yet growing threat. The southern resident killer whale population numbers only 74 whales stretched across three different pods. These whales follow the salmon runs, but in the last decade, the number of whales has dropped significantly. We can listen to sounds in all sorts of ranges of frequency. What we've been realizing is that the background noise of the ocean from the passage of ships has been increasing several decibels every decade for decades. So it's becoming a problem for a number of animals that live in the ocean that depend on sound. And that has a compound issue for the orcas because there's not a lot of salmon left and it's making it harder for them to find what salmon there is. And that's like living constantly in a thick fog and it makes it hard for them to communicate with each other and find food. We have noticed a really distinct lack of their presence in the Salish Sea lately. It's really questionable if we're still gonna have these animals in 20 years. One thing that would really help that is being worked on, but I wish it could go faster, is finding solutions to make vessels quieter. Corvus Energy, back across the strait, has taken on that challenge and has recently come up with groundbreaking innovations. Corvus is essentially a battery company. We develop specifically for the marine environment. Our latest development program has developed a battery system that we call Blue Whale. It is a giant Lego system. Blue Whale specifically is targeted at the cruise industry, cargo industry, and some of the ferries. Certainly one of the benefits of our technology is that it reduces, obviously, pollution, but it also reduces a lot of the noise. I've been out with friends on their fishing boats, and I've had some amazing experiences where I'll have an orca breaching right beside the boat, and I look right into his eye, and that's just absolutely amazing. And that, that's something we need to protect. The marine industry is changing fast, even though it's a slow-moving industry, because these ships are big and they take a long time to build. But we have products that can be retrofitted to existing ships, and there is a lot of interest on new builds. It's almost wrong <laughs> to, to build a ship without putting batteries on it now. The acceptance is there. It really brings me a lot of satisfaction to know that the technology that I'm working on helps in our own backyard with reducing those noise or emissions. The only progress is human. That's a system.